Good afternoon. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Saturday, October 17th, 2020. Well, it is absolutely beautiful out there this afternoon. Temperatures are slowly rising in basically in the mid to upper 50s over much of the region. Not looking for temperatures to move all that much for the rest of the afternoon. We'll get somewhere between 57 and 59, pretty much lock in there. As we have nice cold air transport coming in behind our rainstorm from yesterday, which verified pretty well for most of the region. Again, the heaviest rain was found along the coast and the lighter rain, if any, was found over the interior. So we have this northwesterly wind around 5 to 15 miles per hour, at times gusting to 20 miles per hour. Visibility is around 10 miles. Really, it is a very nice afternoon. And take a look at our surface map. You can see high pressure is building in. There's our storm exiting. This cold front right here, well, it's going to be heading towards our area, but it's going to take quite some time to actually move through as it's going to stall to the north and west of us. Take a look at our latest infrared satellite picture. You can see clear skies are taking control. We're going to watch to see a little bit of a the cold front's going to stall out and see if we get a little wave of low pressure here that tries to develop. And of course, we have our cold front here that is going that right now has pretty good lifting, has pretty good support aloft. But once it gets towards our neck of the woods, that support goes away, and so it just kind of sits and stalls around there. Take a look at our latest visible satellite picture. Well, it's pretty visible. It's really nice out there. In fact. You can see kind of a change in the color here of the map. Okay, now what's happening here is that the satellite is picking up the change in the, in the color of the grass and the leaves. And, and so what you're getting here is a bit of a change in the shade here that we're watching in real time. Um, the National Weather Service out of Philadelphia actually put out this really cool image on Twitter where it showed the beginning of the month and the Delaware Water Gap was showing green leaves and everything and then you go now and you got a lot of oranges and reds it's really cool to see so here is our forecast for today high pressure is taking control temperatures in the mid to upper 50s for tonight on through tomorrow morning clear skies rather chilly lows in the lower to mid 30s over the far northern interior upper 30s to mid 40s along the coast so you're going to need your jacket that is for sure for tomorrow afternoon, high pressure slowly starts to exit. We'll see our wind shift to the southeast and a little bit more moisture in the atmosphere. Look for high temperatures to range from the upper 50s to mid 60s on Monday. There's our cold front. It's not going to get very much closer to us with high pressure in control right along the coastal plain. I can't rule out an isolated shower, but for the most part, sky clouds are expected. Lows in the mid 40s to lower 50s. Highs in the mid to upper 60s. On Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and you know, we can even throw on Friday, frontal boundary never makes it through. We have high pressure off the coast, cold fronts are stalling to our west, and so we get this persistent southeasterly to easterly wind flow, and we're going to see temperatures through the period slowly moderate. So on Tuesday, we'll have lows in the mid to upper 50s, highs in the upper 60s to mid 70s. On Wednesday, we'll have lows in the upper 50s to lower 60s highs in the lower to mid 70s on thursday lows in the upper 50s to lower 60s highs in the mid to upper 70s and on friday sky cloud cover again watch out for an isolated shower or two that's pretty much about it lows in the upper 50s to lower 60s highs in the upper 60s to mid 70s now this cold front is the real deal Behind this cold front is some rather chilly air. So watch out for a few scattered showers, mostly in the morning. Then low temperatures will range from the mid to upper 50s. High temperatures go absolutely nowhere. Upper 50s to lower 60s. And remember I was talking about watching an area of low pressure as these fronts stall out? Well, we're going to keep an eye on a pesky low pressure system around here. And it could interact with this stationary front and make for a rather stormy Sunday. But we'll see. We got some time to watch that. That is your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen D. Martino. And as always, stay safe out there.